And so in this week of Advent, we're, we're really going to focus on how we prepare our hearts, by bodies, mind, soul, to enter into our heavenly bliss. How are we preparing ourselves really to meet Jesus whenever he comes, whenever he calls us home, that hopefully we will end up in our heavenly homeland. The first way to prepare, daily prayer. My sisters and brothers, I preach on it all the time. I write on it in the bulletin. We have to be people of prayer. We have to pray every single day. We can never let the sun set without opening our hearts and minds to the Father, Son, and Spirit in, a sen- in, a, in, a, in prayer, right? Not in a sense of prayer, in prayer to communicate with the Blessed Trinity. Some, some thoughts on, on how to begin prayer if you haven't. You know, last week when we began these reflection videos, I, I challenged you to, to read the Gospel of Mark during the season at Advent, to get to know who Jesus is a bit better by reading about him in the scriptures. And the Gospel of Mark is short, so you can certainly finish it in this Advent season. You probably, you probably finish it in a week. <laughs> um, but I'll give you the whole season of Advent to read the Gospel of Mark. And within reading Mark, it's also the most narrative gospel. It reads the most like a story. So it's a little easier to read through. Certainly easier than, say, the Gospel of Matthew, which is a little more like a a law book. But anyway, um, to read the Gospel of Mark. So do that in your prayer every day. Read a chapter or a paragraph or a few verses. Whatever you want to do, read some of it and then sit with that. And ask, ask yourself, you know, what is God telling me? In this scripture, how is the Lord speaking to me right now? Pay attention to your thoughts, your feelings, and your desires. What is happening within your heart as you read that scripture? What are you, what are you thinking of? What's coming to mind? Is it the laundry list of things you need to do by Christmas? That's a distraction. Throw it away. What else is coming to mind? Is it that I may have said something unkind to my coworker or? Did I leave my Zoom meeting early or did I not log on to to work at all for the day and lied and said I was sick? You know, what's coming to mind? And then like, okay, maybe that's something I need to repent for. Maybe that's, you know, am I thinking about, you know, my, my neighbor who is sick? Well, maybe I should pray for them. What's coming up in your mind? What are you feeling in your heart? Ultimately, ask yourself, what's the desire in my heart? But by opening the scriptures and and asking those questions, what is the scripture bringing up in my thoughts? What am I thinking of? What am I feeling in my heart? And ultimately, what is it that that I'm desiring? That's, That's good prayer, my sisters and brothers. That is good prayer. And that's something that the Lord can work with to help change our hardened heart into a nice, fleshy heart full of God's love.